we're trying to, to keep our crews and our people safe and at the same time trying to contribute to the hospitals that are doing such an amazing job for us. Even up to two months ago, the last thing on earth that we ever thought we would be doing here is making face masks and face shields. There was a gentleman that was talking about a 3D printing machine and how he was making face shields um, for um, the hospitals. And I thought, we have a 3D printing machine and we could probably do the same thing. So I called Danny Miller and I said, can we do this? And he said, absolutely. This is a, there's a CNC, which is a computerized numerical cutter. So basically the concept is anything you can draw, this will cut. We can cut aluminum, steel, plywood. You can cut foam, which uh, PVC, which is we're cutting now. So the idea was is to put the plexi on very quickly and to have some vents, because when you're wearing the shields, it, you fog up a little bit. So I knew that I needed 64 that would put in a sheet. So then what you do is you, draw, you copy, make 64 of them. What the machine does, it takes it. So now that's exactly what it's gonna cut. After the CNC cuts, it leaves small tabs because they're small pieces. So then you just come in and pop your little tabs off. Now this, this is gonna be the brim. After it gets smoothed out, then what we do is we'll take, basically just regular weather stripping, insulation foam, very sticky. We put it onto the inside of it which gives it a little bit, little bit more comfort for the wearer. And then actually we're using cable ties, which are Velcroed on either side. And we put them on here, so now, and we also just take regular lash string and just put one on each side. So after you get to where you need it, your size, it locks into place and now you have your face shield. But once we get, once we get everything cut and ready to go, it's, it's gonna go pretty quick. We're gonna have a nice little assembly line going. And when they said that's, that's what I'd be making, I, I just thought, I was like, well, it's, you know, the least we can do, is, and we have the machine to do it. I was pretty kind of proud. Behind me is um, an idea that came through the, uh, the, the shop here that they should make, start making masks for people that work at NBC because of the shortage that everybody has. Um, so we have some very talented engineers that seem to also be very talented seamstresses. So I am making masks and we're handing them out to crews and correspondents and trying to get everyone protective gear. We had a hard time purchasing, restocking our supply, and so we decided to grab some sheets, order some supplies, and make masks. So, first you take cotton sheets, one layer of cotton, one layer of flannel, and another layer of cotton. Cotton's on the outside, flannel's on the middle. And then we've been using lanyards as string. 